Welcome back to some more Mono Clan High Shard action. We're doing the self pairing still. So now we're doing the reverse rotations. We are back to Wormkin. Reap with Reap on Spine Cheap. Uh, so we're going to have some good sustained damage. But uh, things like Diligent or Divinity, the Reap is not good Relentless necessarily. So we'll see. Especially Divinity, since it gets cleared all the time. Uh, but we do have Double Barrel, Angry Fell, and Seraph the Diligent. Hosting Kin, Proclamation, Force, Contamination. We got a lot of Extract there. We are taking the Sketches of Salvation, because it's hilarious. Uh, we can take extra upgrades. We'll just do Reap, right? Come on, Gluck Slider. That's what I'm hoping for. So everyone knows the four a glug slider run is the best run possible. I could do this, that'd be six times two twelve. That would kill that awesome. Let's just take things out. Awesome again. Would you just do, yeah, 100 damage there is better than whatever reap damage we are getting. And we should easily get a kill here. Cool. Thank you for the collection. Bounty Echoes is very good. Uh, infused Echo Infusion is very good. We'll start with the Keeper of Echoes. I'm still hoping for Glug Slider. But obviously, a four Keeper Floor is quite strong. Multi Strike, okay. Uh, we're going to skip those for now. Multi Strike this dude. Very cool. 30 damage and make that a giant spell. Intrinsic on the bounty echoes because I can. We put two train stewards together. Get that infusion gone. Gain more money. We definitely want the money here. Uh, yeah, we're going to save myself 5 health. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's uh, take out units. Hope the boss. Good. Um, we are going to reap Take that out, double reap, and then pump this unit. I don't have the most damage at the moment here, right? But I can get a lot. And I should be able to get a kill on the next floor, I think. Bam, 200 damage. Nice and easy. Sure, that's infused and cost zero. That's a good survivability card. Endless. Not ideal. That's also not ideal. Where are my... Well, that is one of the dupes. Alright. So we're going to get try to get two more upgrades. And then we're going to go Wormkin Banner one more time. We can put a large stone in you. That's good health. Extra large. Alright. Well, we'll probably just do that. Extra large, you guys. Um, another twin stone on Echo Infusion is pretty decent. 
Plus 10 in Pierce on the big proclamation to clear out enemies. And we go forward. Alrighty, um, we're going to clear out this floor and then we're going to just start pumping up here. Poor Chief is going to die pretty quickly. Defend. But at least it does clear out two floors first. And we're going to get as much damage here as possible. Let's just uh, clear everything out, which is hilarious to me. Look at that. More reap. Another kill there. More damage here. We put one reap. We finally get a little bit of uh, inspi inspiration on the middle floor. Why not? 30 damage. Looks good to me. And a nice easy kill. Giant keepers. Kind of good. Well, we don't need any of those. We can skip. Keeper of Echoes is not a horrible infusion. Not the best, and still no Glug Slider. Sure, we take another Keeper. And of course, we uh, put some minus one into spells. All right, what does this give us? Another spell chain. Let's spell chain that, I guess. Plus 10 pierce. We get up another proclamation. Start building our super keepers. Uh, and let's remove them that, right? And we'll still put a minus one into another fracture. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Sure, I don't think unless I get a lucky hit with a uh, oh old magic I don't think I have any ways to ascend or descend my unit so we're just gonna do it like this Oh no! Well, yeah, darn it. I messed up. I messed up again. Too many mistakes. I'm gonna clear that. I don't want my unit to die, please. Um, that's gonna get the kill, so we're just going to do as much damage here as possible. Awesome, that gets the kill there. This almost gets the kill on top. Alright, so we blast. We're gonna uh, gain the health and gain some armor. Blast you out. Um, I have, what, I can get up to four, five of these, five times two is only ten. So I think I can only take out one of these guys. Yeah. Alright. Well, we just throw a bunch of reap up there and we uh, get a kill.
No thanks. Soul siphon, eh? Why not? Definitely go with the artifacts. I will take an Echo Seedling. Ooh, Box Slime, Base Charge. Those are both quite nice things to see. I mean, neither are Carving Kariska good. Ooh, Buff. Ascend Money. Okay. Well, we did it. We got our cheat on the same floor. We're going to take the box line. All right, Chief, you got to live. Got to live so I can bring you up a floor. Be honest, it's not the uh, most solid of starts. Eh, we're just going to let those all cycle. Why not? Give you armor, and then I just take out one unit. You don't come up. That's a little sad. Alright, we do that. That almost kills everything. We take this out. That unit floor lives. We can uh, cast one more... Two more here. I think saving all the health is a better idea. Actually, we want to pump this guy. Um, we definitely take out that one. This is going well. Save the health. The sweep unit. Take out one of those. Give myself some armor. Oh boy. There we go. Nice clean kill. Only downside is I'm not getting to use my Ascend or Descend, or my Ascend ability. Not really doing anything for me yet. Skip. Uh, do I want Broken Memory shenanigans? Not especially, I'll be honest. I don't feel like... I could probably pretty easily get the uh, Broken Memories combo... No, sorry. Uh, Worm can... Etchings combo. Ooh, Carbon Kruska. But I don't think it's worth it. Or at least it's not needed. That's for sure. Alright, do we have another? We do have one more temple. We do have two more dupes. Two more dupes doesn't mean I will have four units. So I can get rid of both train stewards. A little sad for the uh, defense. <laughs> but we are going to get these taken care of. I mean, hold over on this would be cool, but it's not needed. We're going to hold over this echo infusion because that's spending a draw to get one ember and a bunch of stats to my floor. Yeah, we're going to have Bounty Nikos here. I'm going to save myself a good chunk of damage. Um, we're going to... Do a bunch of reap damage. Already 416 damage into the boss, that's great.
let's make sure we kill this enemy. Good. And then we're going to put some infused echoes into the middle floor. You can just fully ember drain out that floor. Um, yeah. I'm going to make sure we keep that unit alive on bottom. We'll finally get this. Which means I'm going to do all of this nonsense first. And then we're going to send you up a floor. Very cool. Uh, we're going to clear that guy out. And then we just fracture the heck out of our enemies. Whoop, did that in the wrong order, doesn't matter. 100 reef for a thousand damage. Beautiful. Worm can spike is great. Uh, more draw is also great. We need the dupes. I could get money and daze things with Iron Drop Cage. That's pretty funny. And now let's just take more draw. My floor size does not matter. Um, so I guess we take the plus 15 magic power. All right. Darn, it's not the one I want. We'll just still take creep for the funsies. And we will dupe you bring it on what a nice floor um we're gonna echo snare then we drop this echo snare echo snare I'm gonna save the bounty Nekos. 105 damage. Wow. Whew. That was kind of brutal. Well. Not enough to bring my guy up yet. This doesn't happen. This didn't happen. Guess we start pumping up this floor then. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Very cool. Um, can I bring you up? One attack, that takes two attacks, so that's still 160, 190. Mm, not quite enough. Actually, yeah. We're going to bring you up. That's a little bit more damage here. But we do that. Very cool. And we can work on taking out these guys. There we go. I took an extra 10, but I saved myself a lot of damage. Alright, so we bounty Nekos. Proclamation, proclamation. There we go. Perfect clear. Look at all those inspire triggers. Feel the inspiration. Um, <laughs> we're going to shelter. Then we're going to give that one melee weakness to pump everything up. Because it's hilarious. All right. I'm going to send you up. Sure, I take more damage. But that's, uh, let's see, one, two, three pumps.
Anyways, it's a lot of pumps. That's the point. How much do I actually gain? Alright, so a single one of these gives plus four plus four because these are infused. Yeah, that's cool. Anyways, we're going to dump all of these into the boss. We're going to send you up just for the gold. Maybe one of these days I can get my boss there at the same time again. Skip. Eternal Kinstone. Nah, not needed. Kreska's just better for me. Alright, a thousand gold. We give this a 30 damage. We want a purge. One of the fractures. Um... Sure, let's just bounce things off of our pyre. A double stack? No thank you. I'm going to make this one cost. I do want to be able to make sure I cast that when I draw it. It's a minus one another fracture. Okay. Obviously we dupe you. That's just the infusion. Um, let's make our pyre a little bit stronger again. Let's get rid of a fracture. And buy that. That's going to take care of damage shield if it pops up in the last divinity. All right, nice infusion hand. Don't worry, I'm gonna blast that. Blast that. Get 28 armor. I've already done 900 damage to the boss. I am happy with that. Yes, that is the correct word. We can bounce that off the pyre so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna save our boss as much trouble as possible. Um, give that some ember, and then we just do an another 20 reap. Very cool. Also very cool. I should have, uh, whoops, done that a little different. That's fine. I should have reaped bottom first to make sure I could uh, take this guy out. Yeah, see, now it's only 24 damage. That's a shame. Now I get a junk. Oh no, I just consumed that. Oh well. That's my fault. Don't really care. I'm gonna send you up for fun. Save myself a little damage. Gain a little bit of uh, money. All right. We purge a fracture. We just get all these pumps going. 800 damage. 900 damage, proclamation, proclamation. Thirteen hundred damage this round. Wow. All right, only seven hundred more to go. I mean, that floor is clear. 
Let's just do that to gain all that stuff out. We want to... Oh, we're getting the kill here already. If that's the case... Bam, 750. Shard of Divinity, why not? More armor is good for the pyre. 115 health, 55 damage. Four of these bad boys. Now, I guess is the question. How much reap I can do, or do I just want to pump up this floor? 34, can I get us beyond 34? I might be able to. Yep, cool. Let's do that. Eight hundred thirty damage. That's pretty good. So when Sreep goes away, we won't care about it too much at the moment. Awesome. Come on up. Thirty-eight. Forty-two. Just barely dies. Clear that floor, and uh, yeah. We're just going to uh, basically kill Divinity with a lot of damage and a lot of reap. 693 reap, we're all, <laughs> means we're doing what, another 1100 just raw damage? Pretty good. I mean, wow, that is a lot of damage coming into my unit. Just shows how hard raw stat sustain is tough. 107 damage. Alright. Now it's only 70. A lot easier to manage. Let's just proclamation. Proclamation. Melee weakness. And we get a kill. Has some stats. Look, at, we didn't even have to rely on the reap that turn. Thanks, Hef. Needed the armor. All right. Run summary. So, yeah. Um, Wormkin. Probably one of the best clans with Sketches of Salvation just because Keeper of Echoes is just such a good pump for your whole floor. If you have any way to ascend or descend your champion, the Spine Chief, you can then just focus all on the same floor. And uh, yeah, you go crazy. You get some very strong flying kills off of Reap damage and normal damage combined, especially if you get Carving Karuska, and you just win. Yeah, Sketch is good. Keeper of Echoes good, Wormkin good. End of story. So thank you for watching and have fun.